It has been a month since the Muppets Mayhem released on Disney Plus, and so finally a month later, I am just about ready to go through my ranking of all the songs. And I'll be honest, this was a really hard video to script because they're all very good songs for the most part. So ranking them in an order was very difficult, but I, I think I've done it. So there are 17 songs in total, so we're just going to go through, rank them from 17 upwards, and I'll just give you my thoughts on them. Now, number 17, we have Making Mayhem. And I get the context of this song within the show, uh, and I get the whole sort of joke around it, the Sophia Carson joke, very funny. But I skip it every time it comes on. It's not on my, any of my playlists, but if I'm listening to the album, this one skips. Because it, A, it's only a minute long. B, it's just, it's not it's not for me. It's not the electric way I'm singing, really. So it, what is the point? Number 16 is Have a Little Faith in Me. And this is one of the more somber songs from the album. Now, don't get me wrong. This song is very good. But I think what really sets it apart for me from the other songs on the album is it really doesn't make me want to sing along. And I know that's not like a success measurement for how good a song is. But in my opinion, if a song doesn't make me want to sing along when the rest of the songs on the album do, uh, then it's kind of a bit of an outlier, which makes it lower down the list. Somehow, in my great wisdom, I completely forgot to record 14 and 15, so we're going to do that now. Um, so 15 is True Colours. Uh, this was the first song I actually listened to on the album when it first released. I lis literally listened to this on the morning, about 7 o'clock uh, at, at release of the show, because I had work that day, so I couldn't watch the show, but I could listen to a few songs from the album. Um, it really kind of got me, like, Janice sing, opening a song was, was definitely different, but it really worked for this song. Uh, and then I listened to the rest of the album, and I guess this song kind of just got a bit lost. Uh, and number 14 is Mayhem. Now, this is definitely a more instrumental song, and usually they aren't for me, and this is kind of one of those cases. Uh, Redeeming Factor is like... It's, 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 the, the mayhem bit's really nice. The, the, the lyrical bits we get are very nice, and it's not a bad song by any definition. 12 and 13 I'm going to put into the same clip because they're very interchangeable. The most interchangeable on this list, probably. Uh, so number 13 is Bridge Over Troubled Waters, and number 12 is On Our Way. This song is emotional. I mean, the fact that it's Floyd and Janice singing, and it's like Floyd singing to Baby Animal. It just, it's emotional. It's an emotional song. Gets me every time, just... Beautiful, beautiful art. Now, On Our Way is one of two sort of road trip songs, and I love a road trip song. I love playing in the car when I'm driving somewhere. And we'll get to the other one a bit later, but this one's good. I mean, oh, God, it's getting a bit windy. Um, this one's good. The only thing that makes this perhaps go below Bridge Over Troubled Waters, if I were to, like, sit down and really, really think about this list for another month, is the fact that Janice has this weird auto-tune sound at the start, and it's not for me. It doesn't sound good is the problem. Number 11 is God Only Knows. Now another Floyd Solo song, never a problem. Another cover, not a problem. There's not really a lot to say about this one, to be honest. It's, it's a good song. Now the plan here is we're going to go 10 to 5 here, and then we're going to do the last 5 at my set. Number 10 is maybe the most difficult song to place on this list. Can you picture that? Now, the main problem with this song for me is that we already had this song back in 1979 with the original Muppet movie, so it was nothing new. Not only that, but it was released around D23 to promote this very show. So we've had not only the song, but this version of the song for months before we had the show. With all that being said, don't get me wrong, obviously it is a great song. It's one of my favourite songs of all time. It's phenomenal. But I can't really put it any higher than 10. Because we've already had it. It's a good song, but I'm ranking the album song. So as an album song, it's a song we already had. Number nine is Gonna Be. Now, this song has a great, great summary feel about it. Lovely message conveyed in a very nice way. It's got a nice chill feel about it. It's just got a lovely, chill, relaxed, lovely feel about it. Just a lovely song. Number eight is Gotta Get There. Uh, now, this was the other road trip song I was talking about when we mentioned On Our Way, and I literally can't drive anywhere now without either singing this in my head or literally playing it through my car. Like, it, it, it's such a good song, and the harmonica bit, like, who does Dr. T think he is? Bloody Billy Joel. He's the piano man over here. Look at him go. Number seven is Join Together. I mean, again, it's very similar to Gotta Be, where it's just a lovely, chill song. It's got like a summery feeling about it. Hearing Floyd and Dr. Teeth just absolutely go for it is great. And it has got a long intro, which kind of don't mind, but can, if it's overused, get or annoying. But they didn't overuse it, so it's good. Number one in this area, then we're going to go to the top five uh, 
just opposite, really. Number six is We Are One. Now, honestly, Floyd's yodeling alone on the We Are One. Honestly, should put this song at number one, but, you know, we can't do that just for the yodel as much as I want to. Uh, but seriously, this song's just really nice. It's, 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 it's great. And Floyd having a solo song, very welcome. Was not on my bingo card, but a very welcome addition to the bingo card. What is it? I'm chatting out of my arse. Just a very nice song. I'm glad we've got a Floyd song. A little bit of harmony, a little bit of yodeling going on. Lovely stuff. Now we're in to the top five. Number five is The Sound of Us. Hearing this song for me just really cemented the idea of the Electric Mayhem being more than a band and I guess more of a family. It, it's, I, I think this song sums up the idea of the series in the best way. Uh, it's not number one just because it's, it's a good song, but it's nothing sort of revolutionary. Now, number four. These, these next four are the hardest to put in order, and they would change. If you ask me again in a week, these probably would have changed. Number four is All You Need Is Love. Uh, now, I mentioned earlier that True Colours was the first song I listened to. This was the second song I listened to. And if I'm honest, it made me cry the second I heard it. And that, that, that's really for one big reason. That being that The Beatles is one of my favourite bands of all time, obviously aside from The Mayhem. So hearing the Electric Mayhem cover what is one of my favourite Beatles songs of all time, it, it, it just, it meant a lot to me and it really, it really hit me in the right place. To be honest, it was this song alone that really cemented my hope in the Muppets coming back in a big way. Like hearing them do a Beatles song and it's sounding perfect, that just really sort of cemented the, the Muppets are good and they need to be doing more stuff. Now we're into top three territory. Number three is Rock and Roll All Night. Now, if we're talking covers, this is the greatest cover on the album. I might even go as far as say this is just the greatest cover of any song ever. Other than Don't Look Back in Anger by the Wurzels. That's a very niche British reference, and I am very aware that the majority of my audience are American. But if you haven't heard the Wurzels, just YouTube, Don't Look Back in Anger the Wurzels, and then go and listen to the Wurzels' entire discography. That was really hard to say. I nearly tripped over it, but I didn't. Like, if you can listen to this song and sit still, then fair fucking play, because I can't. Is that because I'm restrained? Maybe. Who knows? Like, the original Rock and Roll All Night is a great song, but this is just a whole new level. Number two. Okay. Number two, and these two. Honest, rock and Roll All Night, I'm happy with it. Three. These two, I cannot choose what's first and what's second. Number two is Rock On. It's the theme song, it's a catchy song, it was used for promo, it was released a bit before as a little promotion thing, great song. It was literally the theme song for the show, so I kind of thought, oh, by the end of the series I'm going to hate this song because I've heard it so much. No. Every time it came on, me, James and Parker were dancing to it, because it's a great song. I was not tired of it, I actually wanted to hear the full version at the start of the show, not just a little 10 seconds acapella bit towards the end where they all sing and it's just it's it's it is genius writing actually genius writing it's just incredible and Doctor Teeth's rap he has a little rap going on just we need music videos to these please and not from the show I want like filmed music videos thank you cheers which leads us with number one being believe in us extended version this song is just it, it makes me feel stuff and not in that way get your mind out of the gutter thank you very much obviously this was the finale to the show but it's just it was a beautiful emotional way to end it with going through all the montage and just this song takes you on a roller coaster it goes really fast and rocky it then goes a bit more solemn it's, it is all over the place in the best way we also get a saxophone solo bit from zoot which i love zoot uh, I want a Zoot pop figure. They don't do one, but I want one. Uh, there's no Zoot representation. Oh my god, there's no Zoot representation. Also, I, I changed the set around a bit. Isn't that lovely? And look, look, I've got a Lego 100 Acre Woods. How cute is that? It's just a great roundup to the show. Great song. Uh, it's also six minutes, which I'm, I'm never going to complain about getting a six minute Electric Mayhem song. If anything, Kind of, that should have been the standard version, and we should get a 10 minute extended version. Like with Bat Out of Hell and Meatloaf, where they did like a 10 minute song. That's what I want. Do it. I think it's because that it's six minutes that it can go through so many different emotions and highs and lows, and just sum up the show and the band in such a good way. I love Believe in Us. So there you go, that was my ranking of all 17 songs on the Electric Mayhem's album. 
If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Muppety content from me, you can click here to watch the bizarre history of Miss Piggy, where I go through all of the puppet's history, how it's made, the different colours, different styles, different things they did to Miss Piggy through the years. Not in that way again. Out the gutter, please. If you're a fan of more musically content, uh, then you can watch me and my good friend James, who I did reference earlier on in the video, uh, watch bad productions of Shrek the Musical. I'll, I'll put the entire playlist of that here. There have to be at least 20 of them, and we're literally filming another one today as of recording this. So they're a lot of fun. Go and watch them. Subscribe here. Uh, podcast channel up here. Also, the podcast to do with James. He's getting a lot of shout-outs in this pissing video. Christ. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new, haven't done so already. And yeah, cheers.